everyone. Welcome to my channel, Molly Pope Art. This is a very quick tutorial on how to paint peony buds. Um, I actually painted this um, peony bud, a uh, similar version in part of a larger painting um, a couple years ago, and there was a large fully open peony, and then this smaller version of a peony bud. And it is actually a pale pink peony. Um, these were peonies that I grew myself in my garden. And when they're tightly budded, they are um, almost a red in shade color. Um, and as they open up, they become paler pink. So to begin this um, peony bud, which is basically a ball shape, um, and I painted two petals that are sort of overlapping. And what I'm painting now is the, the bottom petal, per se. Um, there's another petal that sort of lays over the top of it. And the colors that I am using to base coat this peony is a light permanent red. And as it gets closer to the top of the um, tightly budded um, peony petal, um, the top of that bud, um, you want to show that there is a light source hitting that rounded object, which is the peony bud. So I mixed in some titanium white into that permanent red to get a lighter pink um, as it's sort of the top part of that rounded bud area. And I'm beginning to paint the, the um, petal that sort of lays over the top of this um, that first petal and again on the right side of that um, petal that lays over the top you want to show that there is a deeper red shade around sort of the sides of that petal and then down towards where that petal would sort of be tucked tightly into the bud stage still and you use that permanent red, and as it becomes up out of the um, bottom of that peony bud, as it gets towards the top, and sort of where it lays over the bud that's the petal that's underneath it, you're gonna need to add the titanium white to that so that it has the appearance of it, that top petal sort of laying over the under petal. You wanna have, um, that uh, petal on the very edges, um, I've added more titanium white to that mix. And you can so slowly build up the layers um, to that peony um, petal by letting it dry down a little bit because you really want there to be a strong concentration of a, a bright light pink on the top. Um, I'm working on the back side of the, the little leaves that sort of lay over the top of the bud as it's still tightly budded. And those colors that I'm using for the backside of that bud that you see me painting is Hooker's Green. And I do mix a little bit of burnt umber into my greens and that gives me a really beautiful, more of a realistic color of green. I rarely use paints directly out of the tube. Um, they tend to be a little bit more artificial looking. So I have found the best way to get a realistic looking green um, for my floral paintings is just to add a little bit of burnt umber. It sort of dulls them down and gives them an olive green shade and they're really beautiful uh, shade for um, your greenery in your floral paintings. Now this particular peony bud had a little bit of red on the edges of the uh, leaves that form over the top of the bud. So I'm adding a little bit of that permanent red around the edges of those um, leaves and just to kind of give a little bit of break in that green. But like I said, that particular peony had a little bit of red coloring around the edges of the leaves. And that back side of the petal now, um, you need to build up a highlight color on that back side where the light would be hitting that. And the colors that I used for that highlight color is a light olive green. 
Um, I love that color green. It's a really yellowy, um, it's more to me of like a yellowy green than it is an olive green for sure. Um, but it's really bright and beautiful and a nice springy green. Now to base coat the, down towards the bottom of the peony bud, you want to show that it is a rounded object, which is basically the whole head of that um, peony bud is basically a round shape. So in order to get it to look um, like it has dimension, you want to have some depth down around the bottom of that um, basic circle that you're painting. So again, I went back to the mix of hooker's green with the burnt umber. Again, that makes a really beautiful natural green color mix for your botanical painting. And they're sort of like a little folds in the the um, leaf that folds over the, the front of this peony bud. So I'm adding sort of hills and valleys in that peony leaf um, by adding sort of little sections. And the way to do that is to add the deeper color down in the areas that are sort of lower in those, um, in that leaf area. So again, that mixes the hooker's green with the burnt umber. And to get the brighter areas, the areas that would be more rounded, um, the top of those hills, um, you use the light olive green and sort of blend those two areas together. So nothing is harsh. It's all softly blended together. And I use a technique that's called wet and wet um, or wet into wet. And basically, that's exactly what you think it is. It's blending the paint together while it's still wet. And you'll get beautiful effects by using that wet into a wet effect. Now you can see I'm adding that really bright um, medium olive green over the areas on those petals where I want them to appear to have um, to be raised a little bit. And already you can kind of see just adding that depth in the lower areas of the leaf and the highlight color on the higher areas in that leaf, you really get beautiful effects very simply by using that technique. Now that leaf um, also, you may need to build up layers. Usually when you're painting in acrylics, um, they actually need to be built up in layers. It's hard to get a solid covering using acrylic layers in just one pass. So keep that in mind. The first layer that you're painting with acrylic paints, it tends to look a little bit flat. So just be patient with your painting as you're working and just know that you're going to have to build up uh, layers of paint um, in stages. You're gonna wanna add a base layer, let that dry down a little bit, and then go back over that base layer with more layers of paint. As many layers as it takes to get a, real, a, a beautiful, rich finish to your work. Now I'm starting on the little bottom part of the bud, and that is the bottom part of the bud that then forms um, into the neck of the stem. So again, um, I'm beginning to add that stem in, and it's the same colors uh, that I used for the rest of the leaves, um, but you really want that neck area of the bud to appear to have some depth. So you wanna use a darker mix of that burnt umber and hooker's green at the neck of the bud. Um, you want to, that to appear to be sort of in shadow. Um, so you really want that depth in that area. And you can see as I move down the stem on the um, peony um, up to the upper right hand side where I want it to appear to have um, sunlight hitting it, I'll go back through and add some more highlights on that mm. upper um, left hand side. So now I'm going back and adding another layer of that burnt umber and hooker's green 
um, to those to the neck area, the lower side of the bud. And again, like I said before, you'll have to build up layers in your paintings and just know that going into it. Be patient with your work and just plan on building up layers slowly and carefully. And the, um, the leaves on this, bud, on this peony bud, again, they have a sort of a red border around them. So as they fold over, you really sort of see that red... Um, that tinged red um, on the tips of the leaves. So, so that's what I painted on that leaf that's on the right hand side. And I'm going back and adding so a little bit of deeper shadows around the peony, um, around the petals where the they would sort of be tucked under the leaves that lay over the top of the bud. You always wanna have shadows and highlights built into your painting. Now here I really need to go back in and add a little bit more depth to the neck of that peony bud. And here I'm beginning to add the very first layers of the highlight color on that green and that is a mix of hooker's green um, and sometimes I'll mix a little bit of um, titanium white into that. Sometimes I'll mix a little bit of a cadmium medium yellow. Um, I like the titanium white mixed in with that because it seems to cover a little bit better. Um, you still see uh, titanium white is a, a more of an opaque color. Um, so sometimes you need a little bit more opaqueness in a certain area. And this is the first edition of the highlight with that medium olive green on the upper left-hand side of the, um, the leaves that cover the peony bud. And now there's a little tiny leaf to the left-hand side. Again, I'm basing that with the hooker's green mixed with a little bit of the burnt umber. So again, it's sort of an olivey sort of a green and there's a leaf off to the left hand side, a little bit of a larger leaf. Again, basing it with that hooker's green and I'll build up layers. Um, that's just the very first layer. And the final leaf is on the right hand side. So I believe there's about four leaves, little baby leaves, tiny leaves around that sort of fall down on peony buds. Um, there's the leaves that um, cover up the uh, flower bud. And then there are these little lower leaves that sort of go um, fall down to the um, sides of the peony bud. So I'm now building up layers of that, um, those leaves and starting to add some sort of character and some dimension in them. There's sort of a little bit of hills and valleys in the leaves also. And you'll see the more layers that I add, those sort of characteristics will sort of um, show through. I recommend that um, if you're looking for a reference material as you're painting, I typically will look for uh, macro photography. Um, just Google macro peony bud, or if I'm painting a peony flower, macro um, peony flower. And you'll this way you'll get a really beautiful close-up photography of whatever it is you're trying to paint. And you'll be able to really see the characteristics of whatever it is you're trying to learn how to paint. There's... Um, It'll show all the little nooks and crannies of a flower and just really help you see to where you need to add um, detail. Now, this was the addition of uh, the light olive green. And you can sort of see those little hills and valleys in the leaves where there would be some veins um, in those little sections of the leaf that light olive green will really help to um, pop those areas out of your leaves as you're painting them. Okay. 
And now I'm adding a little bit more depth by using the um, hooker's green mixed with a little with that burnt umber just to kind of deepen up those darker areas in the leaves. They just needed another coat, so I just add a little bit more. Again, you'll just add layers and layers to your painting. Just have patience as you're learning, as you're working in your painting. Just know that you're going to have to, again, I've stated this many times, you're going to have to build up layers. So now I'm adding that little bit of red tinge around the um, edges of the leaves. Um, particularly that shows up around those three little leaves that form the covering over the bud. So just a little bit of red. Um, I'll add a little bit of titanium white into that. So it's not fully a, a, the full deep permanent red shade. There's a little bit of white mixed into that. So it's really a little bit of a, a pink. <clears throat> And I'm going back and adding a little bit uh, deeper detail to those little hills and valleys in those buds and in those leaves by using the fine tip of uh, the brush. This is a size zero uh, liner brush. So really I use two brushes in all to paint this whole peony bud. And overall this took 20 minutes to do. This should be a very quick sort of study for you. But if you're learning, you know, definitely um, take your time and figure out how to paint this um, peony bud. And the next um, thing you know, you'll be learning how to do this. And I will add a peony painting tutorial also to go along with your bud. And I really appreciate you following along and watching this video. If you have any questions at all, please drop them in the comment section of this video and I will answer you. I'll help you figure out how to paint whatever you need. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you.